We're in Guam Mau. You can see from the buildings behind me. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a crystal clear night after a dust storm and rain. Strange weather these last couple days. But I'm here to talk about something that's not so pleasant. In some of my previous episodes, I talked about how welcoming Chinese people are generally to foreigners. Although it's not 100% or true 100% of the time, most people I meet here are like, let's be friends. Will you be my foreign friend? Let's practice English together. And I get a lot of people very welcoming. I've had people pay for dinners for me. I've had people buy me alcohol. People are usually very, very friendly here to foreigners. That is not the case in America. If you've been watching the news lately or you know anything about what's going on in America, there has been a lot of violence against people from other countries, especially people from Asia. And I want to talk a little bit about that. I want to first broach this topic by discussing a book I read by a professor at UC Berkeley named Wendy Brown, and it's called Regulating Aversion. So the name of the book gives away what the topic is. Regulating means to make rules about, and aversion is to not like. So one thing to note about America is it is a country of mostly immigrants, people who have come from all over the world. They mostly come through New York and immigrate into the United States. And so it's a what they refer to sometimes as a melting pot, where people and cultures mix together. Unfortunately, this book gives away regulating aversion that there are people clustered in America in different places. So you have Chinatown, which is nice and wonderful in its own way, but you also have neighborhoods distributed for Latin Americans, for Mexican people, for other races and people from other countries and cultures. America's cut up into little pieces. Now I want to talk about that in a little bit more detail. So aversion means to not like, which is unfortunate that so many Americans have aversions for one another because of cultural differences, language. Oh, you must speak English. And there's a lot of people who are like very angry if you start speaking Spanish in certain places in America because they're like, you need to be speaking American, uh, which is not a language, but people will actually say that. Or you need to speak English. We're Americans. There's actually no official language of the United States, but people just automatically assume that everyone needs to speak English, even though there are schools where you can go exclusively to learn Spanish or Spanish and English, or in Chinatown in San Francisco, there used to be a Mandarin school. America's divvied up and cut up. Now, you don't see that here in Beijing. I've been to Shanghai a few times. You don't see that as much there either. Now, there are some kind of special expat communities a little bit, and people do live in bubbles, but there's no one place in Beijing that's like America Town or Europe Town or something like that. It doesn't exist. Instead, all of my expat friends who are from from different countries are diffused all over Beijing and they live everywhere in you know little tiny clusters of one or two people at a time, couples or friends, not entire neighborhoods or districts. Now maybe from the year 2005 to year 2013 or so, there were a lot of foreigners around the San Lituan area. That's not really true anymore. San Lituan is not so much of an expat area. Foreigners don't really go there anymore. They go to like two dozen different places. So I think that might have something to do with it. China seems to integrate, I think it's 56 races, diffused more thoroughly and everyone seems to get along a lot better and foreigners are also welcome here. Where in the United States, that's not true. They're not diffused. There's a lot of xenophobia or fear of other, disliking of foreigners. At the same time, the United States as a government claims that it likes foreigners and it wants foreigners to come in. The people, although some people individually are welcoming, a lot of people are very hostile to anything that's not like what they're already used to. And so that's really unfortunate and sad. And I just wanted to say that as an American living in China, I'm really truly sorry and empathetic for the people who are undergoing the hatred and vitriol that they are experiencing in the United States right now as people from Asia. And I'm, I'm ashamed of that and I'm very sorry. And still, I thank you for being so welcoming to me living here in China and I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.